Hi, it's Lorna Hennington with the Bates Hennington Real Estate Group, and I am talking to you baby boomers who are thinking about selling your homes. Maybe you want to move somewhere out of state. Maybe you want to stay close. Maybe you want to upsize. Maybe you want to downsize. But the question is, what are you going to do after you sell? Well, there's buying and there's renting. And with renting, your lease amount is probably going to go up every year. It's going to be something you're going to have to deal with every year, as opposed to a fixed rate mortgage, even at a higher fixed rate until you can refinance. You're going to have stability. You're going to know exactly what your mortgage is going to be, and that's going to give you a lot of flexibility. There are more pros to buying than there are cons to it, especially for a baby boomer. Owning your house can help save you money. You actually have equity being built into that house that you can pass on to your loved ones. Also, you may not have to pay a monthly mortgage at all. If you've got enough equity in your current home when you sell it, you might be able to buy this next house outright. And third of all, aging in place is much simpler if you're in your own home as opposed to a rental. You can make modifications to that property to make sure that it's still comfortable for you. The bottom line about whether you should buy or rent is a choice that is individual to you, but we've got a lot of answers to some of the questions you might have. So connect with us at experts at BatesHennington.com and we hope you have a great week. Enjoy the weather.